Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about the top three productivity shortcuts that I use with IntelliJ to boost up my development. So I'll be talking about those three shortcuts and I'll be also showing you how you all can use it with your Java projects. So let's get started. So the first shortcut that I'll be talking about is the double shift search. So IntelliJ IDEA has a very easy way of searching across the project basically. So you can press double shift and you will see this pop up opening up. You can uh, search for whatever you want. So let's say I want to open this file called hello world.java. Okay. And it's a class. So I'll just type in hello world and you can see everything that starts with hello just pops up. So I can see recent files that I've accessed. I can see hello world which is nothing but a symbol. So what I mean by symbol is it's a constant that is being created in nested demo main. I can enter and I can go over there, right? Also, you will see a run configuration that is already created with the name hello world, right? And you will also see some of the actions, okay, from the menu that have hello string associated to it. So this is how a uh, double shift search can be useful. So if you are on Mac, you can press control tab basically to navigate through the tabs basically of this pop-up and you can see there are multiple tabs. So this tab of classes allows you to search for a class. This tab of files allows you to search for a file. This tab allows you to search for a symbol. Now symbol can be a method or a variable or a constant that you have created across your project. And this tab allows you to search for only action. And the first one lets you search for everything combined, right? So I'll show you one more example using which you will realize the power of uh, this pop-up here. So let's say if I want to change a setting wherein I want to hide this navigation bar, okay, that I'm seeing at the top. So this navigation bar is taking a little bit of space and I want to maximize my uh, editor space, right? And I want to just hide this because I don't need it. So I'll just press double shift and I'll open this and I'll just type in navigation. So you can see as I'm typing through the spelling, there is an option that shows up show navigation bar. Now you are seeing this option right from the preferences, right? And uh, what you can do is you can press enter to toggle it on and off. So you can see as of now it's on. So I'll just press enter, right? So you can press enter to toggle it on and off. So if there is any setting that requires you putting it on and off or requiring you to do toggles, basically those settings can be changed right from the search window. You don't have to open preferences for the same. So this is the number one shortcut that I use while developing, right? Now the second shortcut that I would like to talk about is the power of command E. So the moment you press command E on Mac or control E for Windows and Linux, you will see this pop-up which shows you the list of recent files. And I think this is an incredibly useful shortcut which allows you to navigate through the list of recent files that you have accessed. So I can simply go to any file. So I recently accessed build.drill. I can go over there and I can just open it. If I want to navigate to another file, I'll just press control E, right? And I'll go to nested demo, right? Now let's say I have opened this file and I want to go back to where I was. So what I can do is I can press command and opening brackets. Okay. And I can go to that place. If you are on windows, you can press control alt and back arrow. So you can go to that place. So if I press command E okay, on Mac or control E on windows or Linux, you will see the list of recent files. If I press it once again, so you will see it changes to the list of recent files that have changed by you. So you can see this checkbox got ticked, right? And I can just toggle by pressing command E on Mac or control E on Windows and Linux. 
So this is incredibly useful, right, to navigate across the files. And when this is combined with uh, control and uh, backspace, which is nothing but a way to navigate back. So it becomes incredibly powerful, right? So you can navigate back and forth by pressing command and opening bracket or on Mac or by pressing control alt and back arrow button on Windows. So this is a second shortcut that I feel is incredibly powerful. The third shortcut that I'll be talking about is command shift and E on Mac. So command shift and E on Mac and control shift and E on Windows or Linux. So this shortcut opens up the pop-up which talks about the recent locations that you have been to. Now these are not recent files, but these are recent locations. So I was recently in method two, okay, which is in nested demo.java. I was recently in nested demo test.java, which is also method two. Okay, so I can go to any recent location that I was in. Okay, and if I want to go to a recent location wherein I made a specific change, so I can either take this, okay, or I can again press command shift and E, okay, and control shift E on Windows, okay, and command shift E is on Mac. If I press that again, this will get automatically checked, you can see, and I can just toggle this. So this is another useful shortcut that you can use to navigate to locations, right, that you have been to recently. So these are some of the uh, shortcuts that I wanted to highlight in this particular video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.